This is a demo of a noise API for dynamic noise floor planning. Now previously in the past with radio planning tools, people would enter a noise floor value for a site and if they were lazy, they would just use the same value for all the sites. And then what you get is circles the same size at all different locations and that does not match up to reality. In reality, it's noisier up here at the north we're at a Formula One racetrack here, which gets very noisy on a race day. And down here at the south, at the far end of the track, this would be quieter. We'd expect less noise over here. So we could type in a noise floor value for every different site if we have it, um, or we can use an API. There's lots of ways you can get noise data from RF sensors, SDRs, and now spectrum aware radios. So you can get this noise data and you can put it into the API like we're doing here. So this is a simple client. It's on our GitHub repo where you can load in your noise data from a spreadsheet and use that to do better planning. So this plan here was before the race and everything was the same. I'm now going to load in some race data on the day of the race when equipment has been activated, the noise floor has increased and now Let's respin this network and see what it looks like. Control and space to remodel that network. And we have shrinking coverage to the north there. Okay, let's go and repeat that with a higher value. So we're bumping up the noise floor by 10 decibels here for all the sites. And coverage is reduced. We've lost a link to the south there. And these links have all become weaker. You can see the mean value is about 8 decibels. Okay, let's keep that going. Let's go and knock off another 10 decibels. So the noise floor has increased by 10 decibels for most of the sites. Control and space. Okay, we have lost lots of links now. This network is failing. It's hanging by a thread now. If the noise gets any higher, we're going to lose the network. So let's do that. Increase the noise again. All the old locations have been overwritten in the database. And when I remodel, we no longer have a network. We just have some radios that cannot talk to each other. So this is the noise API. It's the new way that people are going to do radio planning with for dynamic networks where they have noise data.